this video, I will show you how to frequency split using Fruity Convolver, which is method one from the How You Should Frequency Split video. Like always, set aside seven mixer inserts. One for in, sub, low, mid, high, treble, and out. Disable the send from the in mixer insert to master and send it to sub, low, mid, high, and treble. Then, on each individual frequency band's insert, route it only to out. Sometimes it helps to color your in and out channels. Now that you have your in insert sent to the five frequency bands, load Fruity Convolver in each. Once loaded in all of your frequency band inserts, go to presets, and load linear phase EQ short latency. Do this for each frequencies band. We use the short latency impulse instead of the long latency impulse, so there's no delay effect in any of our frequency split audio. I like to start in the sub frequency band, then low, then reverse the order, go to treble, then high, and then mid naturally falls into place between low and high. So start with the sub band, make sure your snap is on, makes it a lot easier, add two points, and make a square. Now if we take our audio, send it to the right insert, mute the other tracks, and play it, we should just get the sub frequencies. In this case, every frequency below 186 hertz. Now go to low, put a dot at 186. This time, you want your box to look like this. This plays every frequency above 186 hertz and below 530. For example, Next, I like to switch to treble. So now this frequency band will only play frequencies higher than 8,680 hertz. Move on to high. And the mid-range simply falls in between low and high. The location of the frequency bands is up to your own personal preference or how the song is. Inevitably, the mid-range frequency band will always carry the most dynamically sounding frequencies. So let's see what this sounds like. If done correctly, it should sound exactly as it does without being frequency split. The trouble with frequency splitting using Fruity Convolver is you have very limited control, and if I wanted to make a change, it would make a long time relative to other methods but it uses a very small amount of CPU and almost perfectly frequency splits your audio without any aliasing or band overlap. But sometimes band overlap can create some very interesting effects. So now you know how to frequency split using Fruity Convolver.